is going to be 8.05, please be on time. And uh, continuing in the halachot of derich eretz, of proper conduct in a meal, it states in the halacha that a person should not look at an individual while he is eating. When a person is eating, you're not supposed to be looking at him. It's not an appropriate way to conduct yourself or to be looking at his plate, to be looking at what he's eating. Uh, it's not derich eretz, not the proper way to do things. Uh, when an individual himself is eating, he has to be careful to not eat angrily or chas shalom with worry uh, and, uh, and uh, concern. He should be eating happily and he should be thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu, even if he only has a little bit to eat, he wanted a lot, he only got a little bit, still he should eat with a happiness. Uh, it uh, is the appropriate way to focus, is to focus on the fact that I'm eating to strengthen myself to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Not eating to fill up my stomach and to go into enjoyment and to go ahead and have all these pleasures, but to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the highest and the best way that possibly a person could serve. Like Gemara even says the story of Hidera Zaken about a person shouldn't be a kapdan, shouldn't be very um, angry in his meal. One time Hidera Zaken, uh, had a wife, his wife uh, was making bread for that dinner and the poor man came and he said, I need, I need food, I need something to eat. She took the bread that she was making for the dinner and she baked it for him, gave him all the food and said, this is for you, the poor man. And then she had to bake everything from scratch all over again. By the time she had everything ready to serve to Hilel, a long time passed. It was a delay of a significant amount of delay until he got his bread and he got his meal. Usually dinner was served at a certain time, it was much later. So he then asked his wife in a very calm way, he said, what happened today that it was different than all other days that you were delayed? And she said to him the whole story with the poor man. He said, Biti, my wife, my wonderful wife, I promise you that I was miramed zechut on you. I, I knew that you did this for good reasons, for Lashem Shamaim reasons, and he gave her a special biracha. Now imagine if Hilel Azaken would have been angry at his wife, he would have prevented her from doing tzedakah, from doing kindness, for getting a mitzvah, and benefiting himself and the entire Ami side. So a person has to be very careful to not be meticulous and to not be angry, because what that does is it incentivizes people to do less mitzvot, as opposed to being generous and being kind and being gracious. Amen. Amen.